I thought special teams were critical in the third quarter, in particular, where they were able to pin them inside their, their own 15 a couple of times. And uh, it changed the way the game's played. You know, as, as an offensive play caller, um, it changes what you're willing to call uh, sometimes back there. And then, obviously, they're not ever going to get a chance to, to get into four down territory. We always talk about UCF fast with the offense, but it really applies to all three phases of the game. So how does UCF fast apply to special teams? You can't do anything slow. You know, you can't, you can't punt a football slowly. Uh, you can't snap and hold it and kick a, a field goal and expect the defense to wait for you. Right, we're trying to snap that thing back somewhere in about 0.6 to 0.7 seconds from the time the ball leaves his hand to the time the ball is caught, which means that that guy, the punter's got to be able to punt the ball from the time he catches it so it hits his foot in about 1.2 seconds. I mean, we're only 14 yards away when he catches it and he walks forward. So the block points at like 10 and a half, 11 yards. And I mean, this guy's blocking there, but ideally, if somebody just kind of punches their guy and lets him go, he shouldn't be able to get there in time. Say just like, he doesn't catch it clean and he's got to, you know, catch it again and remold it. That takes off, you know, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 seconds. And then you have people in your face. Nice snap. That's a strike right there. This offense is a lot of fun. You, you, we can score in two seconds or we can score in, you know, a couple minutes. So it's, uh, you definitely got to be ready at all times. But uh, it's, it's more fun than anything for me because, you know, I'll be, I'll be watching the game and, you know, we'll be on our own 20, our own 15, and all of a sudden we're on the two. <laughs> You always got to stay sharp, especially with our offense and our defense scoring points too. Just always being ready and being ready to go out there. I often get the luxury of waiting for the field goal team to go out there and then even getting a TV timeout, which is often real great. Go score some points. You guys ready to roll? Alex, you're an engineering major. How does that help you out with the mathematical side of special teams? Just for me on a snap, the, the ball has to get to the holder and ideally laces are up. So with the spin that comes off my hands naturally spiraling the ball to him, so it's easy to catch, I have to get the like RPMs to match up to where the the time it takes to cross the seven and a foot needs to be, you know, X plus one half spins. So I take it just like you're gonna throw the pass. So that's how I hold it. And then you take your other hand, your middle finger goes down this back lace here. So the laces start with me, they're down. And then he has to catch them with them up. And so he can hold like that and spin as he needs. But ideally, he's not gonna spin. It definitely helps to be smart, uh, to be able to say, hey, I feel when this little thing is off and be able to self-correct that. You know, that's something that a coach can't, can't give you. You recruit that, we want that. You know, the ones we brought in this year, the young people, high intellect, you know, high achievers in the classroom. That standard is set. So they're not going to be distracted by that when they're on the field. That high intelligence is going to help them correct. So uh, it definitely helps Alex do what he's doing. Atta boy, one shot, one kill. Three, five, two. You fix that every time with our tempo, right? We don't have to block anybody. If we're fast enough, we're going to get it, right? Same thing on punt. We talk about the speed and the tempo you know, on field goal. And we want to get that thing off. We don't have to block anybody. We want to snap, hold, and kick that thing on field goals faster than anybody. All right, thank you, Coach Toth. I'm going to actually head into the film room now, and maybe we can pull out some stopwatches and we can put to test the distance and hang time and all of that. Snap is down, kick is up, and the kick is good. We've been talking about timing. Mm -hmm. You're saying there's no better example than this next play. Walk yeah. Walk through it. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a good example of it. So uh, this is at Pitt, and that's this is really just a prime example of guys coming off the edge, and if you're not on time, it could be you know, it could be detrimental to the whole play. So if you got the guy, guy coming off there, the Loach helped me out by putting his hand out, kind of getting him off balance so he can't extend up through the ball or, or dive as well as he wanted to. The kick is good. Well, your timing, it's a little bit different than his timing. Your timing to make sure the ball's not getting blocked, that it's getting got through the uprights. And mm -hmm. your timing is more of hang time and distance. Mm -hmm. So walk me through what it's like for you with the stopwatch because you two use it in two different ways. Kind of, because mm, yeah. you still gotta be fast too or you're getting taken out. For sure. So here, um, this uh, first punt against Pitt, two guys off of the edge are uh, 
coming pretty fast. So for me, I, I know I have to have my tempo up. And because it's the first point of the game, I know they're gonna come. So I really wanna make sure I get a really good ball off here. And the returner, really good returner. So distance and hang time was very key during this game. You guys have now walked me through the mechanics and the timing of kicking the ball, but let's actually put it to the test. You want to go meet Alex Ward and Alex Harris yep. out in the indoor and we can Let's put it, it to the test and do a demonstration? Let's do it. Okay, Dylan, we are now out here. I got your snapper with us, Alex Ward, your holder, Alex Harris. And now it's time to demonstrate just how fast this operation actually has to happen. Are you guys ready? I got the stopwatch. We're ready. So Let's we can do put it. it to the test. Well, first you got to get your feet set. Mine, you want to be a little wide on field goals because the wider your feet, the wider the ends are rushing. Get them wide. The guard's feet will be directly behind yours, so you can't slide back or anything. Get down. Um, I like to look through my legs to where Alex Harris is like in full view. Like, I can see just above his head. That's good. We got 1.4, but it is my first time doing stopwatch, so that's probably me. It may be we're a gonna, We're gonna speed that up a little bit right here. Point two one. Look at that right there. Let's go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I messed it up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, nice win. I don't know. <laughs>